Camels, sometimes called as ships of the desert, are members of the genus Camelus and are identified by fatty deposits on their backs known as humps. The camel has been domesticated for over 3,000 years and is a working animal that flourishes in the desert, operating as a mode of transportation for passengers and merchandise. Camels and llamas are found on two continents, with real camels located in Asia and Africa and llamas found in South America. They do not exist in North America. According to the evolutionary theory of descent with modification, camels formerly existed in North America but were wiped out. Camels may have originated in North America before migrating across the Bering Strait into Asia, across Africa, and across the Isthmus of Panama into South America, according to one theory. They evolved along their own lines after being isolated, culminating in the current camel in Asia and Africa and the llama in South America. In addition to the two species of camels, the camelidae family includes two more genera with two species each, llama, llama, guanaco, and vicuna, alpaca, vicua. In some cases, the term camel is used to refer to any of the six camel-like species in the camelidae family, the two actual camels and the four South American camelids. Although categorized as ruminants, any even-toed hoofed animal that consumes food by swallowing raw material, vomiting a semi-digested form known as cud, and then chewing the cud, camelids are classed under Tylopoda rather than ruminantia. Ruminantia includes well-known ruminants such as cattle, goats, sheep, giraffes, bison, buffalo, deer, and antelope. Apart from the normal antibodies found in other species, camelids have a three-chambered digestive tract, an upper lip that can be divided in two with each part being separately mobile, an incisor in the upper jaw, elliptical red blood cells, and a unique type of antibody that does not have the light chain. Camelids have slender legs that appear longer because they lack tensor skin that connects the thigh to the body. They do not have hooves and instead have two toes with toenails and a soft foot pad. These strong, leathery sole pads define the major weight of camelids. The dromedary camel is native to the dry desert areas of Western Asia and East Africa, whereas the Bactrian camel is native to Central and East Asia. Aside from the fact that the Bactrian camel has two humps and the dromedary has just one, the former appears to be a stockier, tougher animal that can withstand the harsh desert heat of northern Iran as well as the icy winters of Tibet. In contrast, the dromedary camel is taller and faster. Camel adults are approximately 6 feet tall at the shoulder and 7 feet tall at the hump. The hump extends around 30 inches from its back. They can also run at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour in bursts and maintain speeds of up to 25 miles per hour. They are projected to live an average of 60 years. Camel domestication began between 3,500 and 3,000 years ago. According to research, the Bactrian camel was domesticated and cultivated separately from the dromedary camel before 2500 BC, whereas the dromedary camel was tamed between 400 and 2000 BC. Camels are easily identified by their distinctive humps. However, contrary to popular belief, these humps do not serve as water storage. Their humps serve as a fatty tissue storage area. When this tissue is digested, it becomes their primary source of energy, converting 1,000 g of fat to 1,111 g of water. A 
range of physiological modifications contribute to their capacity to go for lengthy periods without water. Their red blood cells are elliptical in shape, as opposed to the circular red blood cells of most mammals. This function permits oxygen to flow even when the user is dehydrated. These oval-shaped red blood cells also allow camels to sustain severe osmotic fluctuation while consuming big volumes of fluid without rupturing. Their kidneys can discharge urine that looks like thick syrup and dry feces that can start flames. Their nostrils trap and return enormous amounts of water vapor to the camel's bodily fluids as they exhale, reducing the quantity of water lost during breathing. They can sweat and lose at least 20 to 25 percent of their body weight. Even when body fluids are lost, their blood remains hydrated until the 25 percent limit is reached. Camels that eat green herbage can absorb enough moisture to keep their bodies hydrated even while not drinking. Camels can also withstand fluctuations in body temperature and water content. Their body temperature fluctuates from 93 degrees Celsius at night to 106 degrees Celsius during the day, and only when this temperature is exceeded do they begin to sweat. In milder climatic conditions, the upper body temperature constraint is not always met during the day. As a result, the camel may not sweat at all throughout the day. When compared to the amount of water lost by sweating, evaporation of their perspiration happens at the skin level rather than at their coat, which is particularly effective at cooling the camel's body. This tolerance to fluctuating body temperature, combined with the efficacy of their sweating, allows them to save approximately 5 liters of water per day. Because their thick coat reflects sunlight, a shorn camel must perspire 50% more to avoid overheating. This characteristic also shelters them from the extreme heat emitted by the hot desert sand. Their thin legs keep them away from the scorching ground. Their mouths are muscular, allowing them to graze on thorny desert vegetation. Aside from their sealable nostrils, the camel's long eyelashes and ear hairs act as an effective sand barrier. Widened feet and moving both legs on one side simultaneously allowed them to roam and explore without sinking into the sand. Estimated 14 million dromedary camels are currently domesticated, especially in Somalia, Sudan, Mauritania, and other neighboring countries. Bactrian camels used to be plentiful, but their numbers have dwindled to an estimated 1.4 million individuals, the majority of whom are domesticated. The Gobi Desert in China and Mongolia is thought to be home to over 1,000 wild Bactrian camels. Camels produce milk, meat, and wool in addition to being used in military operations. Dromedaries in Western Asia and Bactrians in Central Asia to the north and east are regarded beasts of burden. They are also the only creatures that, mostly in North Africa, have supplanted the wheel. They were among the modes of mobility in these areas until the wheel and the internal combustion engine were merged in the 20th century. Camel milk is a common desert diet for nomadic cultures, and it is higher in fat and protein than cow's milk. Camel carcasses are also a good source of meat. The brisket, ribs, and loin are among the best cuts, but the hump is also delicious. Bactrian camels have two coats, each of which produces around 7 kilograms of fiber in clumps per year. 